Hello creative friends, it's Eugenia from Art Maltemis Atelier and today we're going to be making a hummingbird. Um, this little fellow here is um, going to be painted with pan pastels and um, pastel pencils. Uh, I have uh, made the drawing and I have attached a dull, uh, printable uh, link uh, for this sketch on um, at the description below and um, the paper I'm using is just um, a normal black paper which I turned it onto uh, it's not sanded the surface it is it is fine uh, it's got fine tooth uh, I use the color fixed um, pastel ground but the fine one uh, I'm using the um, the thicker one uh, for uh, I'll show you now. I, I, I start to use this one, but it's much more scratchier. Uh, but than this one, much more rough. Uh, but I found that it's a, a little bit uh, too uh, toothy for my pastels the pencil pastels that one is more for uh, soft pastels which then have more pigment so um, this ground is great for um, pan pastels pastel pencils and normal pencils uh, so I've got some couple of applicators here uh, I've got my earbuds that good for blending some little other things here that I got from uh, this is a makeup brush or uh, blender, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is brush more for moving away the pigment, and I've got obviously a little bit of scrap paper next to me to test uh, my colors. And I think we're ready, set to go. Uh, so uh, I will start with the wings. So the wings, uh, they have a little bit purple. So if I So I'm using uh, some um, colors from the pure color uh, set and also these, but these applicators are not that, they're actually breaking on me, I'm not sure why. So yeah, I'm using the most of them is from the pure set um, pa uh, pan pastel um, set of twenty. I'm only having one, this grey one for uh, from the shades. I probably I'm not even gonna use it a lot because I've got another grey here. Uh, probably in conjunction with both. Yeah. Okay, this applicator is uh, stuck getting ruined from that side. So I'm going to just turn it the other way. This is, see, it's already breaking. So I'll just turn it the other way. The pan pastels are great for. Um, the first layer for two reasons first reason is that um, you can cover your paper 
pretty fast and the other reason is that um, it doesn't um, fill up the tooth um, a lot like um, other mediums so you can put your um, pastel pencils or normal pencils on top with no problem so it's kind of uh, one way a fast way to do some blocking Obviously the art is great, they are uh, light fast, it's a great product for dry mediums. Just go your applicator, just we wipe it off on the page, on another page. On the other side, I have some um, some metallic and pearlescent colors. I will use some pearlescent for this little guy here. Maybe actually it's not a very good idea to put a lesson because it's uh, it's giving me it's very light color and I want to be a bit darker green. This applicator is really breaking. So the next I would like to do is kind of a tummy of uh, the hummingbird. It's a little bit brown. So we'll get a touch of grey and a touch of this kind of Olive brown. Well, maybe put a little bit of that And the beauty with this medium is that uh, you can darken it or lighten it up. You can actually raise it. Um, here it's come off the, of the line. Yeah, no problem. I've got this eraser to be thin with the edge so I can... Uh, do my little uh, erasing lines.
something tickling me like my throat <laughs> I just realized that uh, I had a little um, mistake here. The tail, when I drew it. <laughs> so we're doing that. And um, I think about uh, at, at this stage, I am going to leave the the blocking with uh, my pan pastels. I will put them away, or maybe not. I won't put them away because I might uh, need them later on for my background. But um, yeah, I'm going to put them aside. Okay. I'll put them aside. I can put this one away. And uh, as soon as I up, I will come back to the video. Okay, now I'm uh, um, I'm ready. I packed up my uh, pan pastels for the moment, and uh, I chose some uh, of the colors that I'm going to be using um, to begin with, at least. Um, now I have uh, I have brought out two sets. This particular bird it is needs specific colors, um, so um, I had to to get. Um, about four colors from my uh, Carbacello set, <clears throat> which is very, very um, pigment pigmented and uh, and bright. All the colors and really nice, so I'm very happy with them. Uh, but it doesn't have all the subtle colors that I want, so I brought out my Darwin pastel set, which um, I found that has uh, more. Uh, more pastel saddle colors. Now I could probably be able to um, to come up with the tones uh, with the Carbatello one, uh, but I don't want to muck around a lot with um, adding and blending uh, because I, I, I don't want to fill up my tooth. Uh, the paper tooth uh, from early stage and won't take out many layers so that's why uh, I chose to start with um, the pan pastels which are the don't fill up the tooth at all but they're very very fine uh, for blocking and then I'm trying to use the correct colors so I don't have to go over it too many times. 
but if you are uh, using uh, if you have only one set um, you can still achieve um, very good results just have to be mindful of your paper well what's the worst case scenario if uh, your paper gets clogged and it's full the, the doesn't take any more um, pastels what you can do is um, you just uh, put a fixed tip on top a workable fixed tip and then you can continue with some more extra layers or the other thing you can do is just um, if you want to make something particular you just purchase those colors that you think that they're only not a full set but I always advise to to get a full set of um, when it comes to pencils and because first of all uh, it works cheaper and second and uh, they will last you for a long long time and and normally they're open stock the the good sets that all the good sets are on open stock, open stock so you can replace the ones that you have used the most if you need to at some stage <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to um, pause it and start fast forward it because um, it will take a long time. <laughs>
so now we have um i think it's almost done the bird uh, and i would like to start working a little bit on the background uh as we as i have told you other times with uh, the backgrounds i don't like to spend too much time with uh, using pencils or i want something fast so that's why now i am choosing uh, the pan pastel um, so on the image that i am um, i'm having and unfortunately i cannot uh, i cannot uh, put it for you to see because uh, I, it's not my image <laughs> um it, the dark uh, the background is completely black um so i will start with black and then i will uh, add some um, some tones uh, so let me do the the black very black <laughs> because once i put the, the ground um the pastel ground it's um it's it's not completely black as you can tell it's a little grayish or charcoal so we try not to touch the bird as much we can but that's fine if we touch it we can always go back in and uh, and refix it Um, I'd have to turn it Sorry that I'm not talking right now. I'm just concentrating to go between the feathers. <laughs> okay. Is a great medium. I really, really like it. See, in no time I have uh, applied a background base color. Great. So um, now we have some. Um, I've got some pearls and some metallic colors here, which uh, I am not going to be. I don't know if I'm going to be using them. I'll try. Maybe a student. Now I've started them, and uh, might have to put a little bit everywhere.
Yes. Yeah, the truth is that I do like living in Sima. And my paintings. <laughs> and especially if they're fancy little birds on this one. <laughs> so, oops, it's okay, I will go over it a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of color though, if it takes it. Mm, doesn't show up much. Okay, I think I will leave it like that. It's um, it's it's nice. I would say that I'm happy. Uh, obviously, with because we're using pastel pencils, we can't do too many details on the uh, on the feathers. You might see that um, the strokes are a little bit uh, thicker, but that's how it is with the pastels when you're working with pastels. It's not pencils, the pencils give you a really fine point and a really fine line. The pastels they give you a, a little bit thicker line, but uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I am I'm really enjoying this medium. It's just a little bit different. It's more um, painterly. It's not for exactly realism, which I like. Okay, and I think it is time to unmask and see what how it looks without the masking. <laughs> well, I'm totally happy with this little bird. This is a nice little fellow. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like our little bird. <laughs> and um, please subscribe. We will be doing more all different sort of uh, paintings. Um, I think the next one, it might be a rabbit actually, once uh, uh, Easter is coming up um, and spring. So, um, yeah, it might be a rabbit and we might do a little bit fair. Uh, we'll see, I, I might use uh, pan pastels for the ground, background and the, uh, and the blocking, as because you know me. <laughs> I want to cover the paper first. And, uh, and then I might get into or with pencils or with pastel pencils we'll see we'll see it depends on my mood <laughs> so yeah please subscribe to see what's next and uh, don't forget to click the notification bell because that's how you are getting notified every time we are putting up um, uploading a video and you can check actually if um, that uh, subject you, that whatever we're doing you like it and uh, you can um, you can come and watch it or if it is a medium that you're not very interesting in that's fine you can wait for the next notification <laughs> so important to click the notification bell <laughs> 
So thank you very much for watching me. I uh, promise I'm not going to touch it anymore. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to see you again at my next video. Till then, be happy, be creative and keep painting. Bye for now.